I think one of the questions is regarding the use of, there are so many questions in this field, but uh, the, the, the one of the questions is the combination of hormonal therapy with salvage radiation. Um, there's at least four randomized clinical trials. There are four randomized clinical trials showing the benefits of, of recombination with uh, hormonal therapy. And, and uh, but I don't think uh, it's for everyone. The RTOG9601 uh, combined uh, tested salvage radiation plus minus two years of bicalutamide showing a benefit in overall survival. But a subsequent trial showed that not all patients benefit from uh, two years of bicalutamide. Patients that were treated with a lower PSA level, they had a higher risk of, uh, of uh, all cause mortality. Um, the six months of hormonal therapy has been. Uh, the standard of care for many patients uh, it, 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 it treated with salvage radiation. However, I do think that patients treated with early salvage, low risk factors, and especially with a negative, with a low decipher test, they they it's reasonable to give salvage radiation only. Uh, the Radicals HD study was a very interesting trial that had three randomization arms: it was salvage radiation. Uh, plus uh, a, no hormonal therapy versus six months of hormonal therapy, six versus 24 months. This was the second randomization. And third randomization was zero versus six versus 24. The six versus 24 months uh, 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 duration of hormonal therapy randomization showed a benefit in metastasis-free survival for those patients who had two years of hormonal therapy from 72 to 78%. So uh, this question, and there was no benefit in overall survival. This question, uh, where, whether we should be giving two years of hormonal therapy for all patients treated in the salvage setting. Particularly, I don't think so. I think there are many patients that uh, should not have hormonal therapy, but definitely there is a, a portion of patients who will benefit from a longer duration. We, we need to define who are these patients.